What's up, everybody? It's M. Sal. Just wanted to talk a little bit about some news that's happening in hip-hop all over the world. So, let's get to it. Uh, J. Cole. J. Cole is re-releasing his catalog on an Apple Music feature called Spatial Audio, I think it's called. Spatial Audio, which means the audio quality is 10 times better than you would get on a different streaming platform. It's like theater sonic sounds like you're really gonna like you're gonna feel the vibe is pretty much what it is and j cole's re-releasing his first album cole world and his new album the off season uh those are definitely gonna be on there i'm not sure about the rest of his catalog but from what i heard his whole catalog is gonna be on there so that's good to look out for j cole you know he's one of the best in the game right now uh maybe one of the best of all time uh, i think j cole has a flow like no other like, his, he doesn't, like, get, like, super lyrical, like an Eminem or Rock Kim would, but his flow is just insane. My favorite thing, like, he can make anything hot with his flow. Like, in the song Under the Sun, he goes, Nothing new under the sun, nobody fucking with sun. I got a couple of sons, a couple of guns, a couple of, that bust up the party and mess up the fun. Like, he's saying, like, similar words back to back. And it just flows so good and so catchy. Something that only, like, J. Cole's the, the, a master of. J. Cole, in my opinion, in hip-hop is the master of flow. On to the next thing. Uh, Pete Rock is suing Nas over royalty checks. Apparently, Pete Rock, who worked on Nas's album Illmatic, the hit song The World Is Yours, actually probably my favorite song on the album, he's never gotten paid a cent for his work on Illmatic. And Illmatic's considered, like, the best hip-hop album of all time. So to not get paid for that, they estimate that it's worth millions. That Nas owes Pete Rock millions. And that it was in the contract that he gets royalties. He even had a, some writing royalties on there, too. He had some... He did a little bit of writing on the song, I guess. I like to think that Nas wrote it all himself. But maybe Pete Rock wrote a little bit on the hook or something. Because Nas, you know, he's, he's, he's a thug poet. So, you know... I always think that Nas, I don't doubt that Nas wrote all of his lyrics. Maybe Pete Rock wrote a little bit on the hook, but he produced the whole song. Hasn't seen a cent. So Nas, come on, give Pete Rock what's owed to him. I don't know Nas' situation. Maybe he needs the money more than Pete Rock. Maybe Pete Rock needs the money more than Nas. But the money is owed to Pete Rock. So let's do the right thing. All right, hip-hop? And then lastly, uh, this isn't... I don't know why I'm talking about this. Uh, you might have seen the video of Kodak Black getting twerked on at the hockey game. Kodak Black, uh, it was a Panthers-Canucks game, I think, NHL game. And in, like, the third period, uh, they just they were playing a song, and they just cut to the stands. And Kodak Black is just in, like, box seats with his new girl, and she's just twerking on him. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. Uh, in my opinion, if you're lucky enough to get a girl to twerk on you, doesn't matter if you're at the hockey game or at McDonald's. You just let it happen. I bet he wasn't complaining. Probably had a good time at the game, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, that's what's happening in hip-hop. Uh, stay tuned for more. All right, got music coming on the way. I'm Emma Sal. Peace.